Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, we're just going to be covering some Caspa news for this week. I think I'm going to probably try to change up uh, to be every Friday a Caspa news video so that it basically covers what happens in the week as long as there is a good enough information. So, um, so far, Caspa literally just took off uh, yesterday. Absolutely insane. The whole entire market was bleeding and caspa was just shining through all of it and currently we're at a 400 million market cap in the top 100 again and we crossed over the two cent mark so we did get pretty overheated yesterday uh, we went above all three moving averages and also the rsi did touch that 70 mark and then kind of started coming down from it uh, just know that when rsi is very high that that means that it's being overbought and then if it's really low that means the coin is being oversold that's technically what the rsi means taking a look at the weekly chart real quick here we can see we had a massive candle on the weekly right now and for the weekly chart it looks like we're just still trying to prepare for a type of reversal in the chart but uh who knows what's really going to happen you know with everything going on uh with sec attacking crypto it actually builds a really good narrative for caspa because we are technically uh sec resistant because we do not follow after these other type of cryptocurrencies that have fundamentals of having a company behind them or having an ico or all that kind of stuff we don't have that we follow bitcoin fundamentals and bitcoin is definitely not a security it's so much not a security that blackrock is actually filing for bitcoin etf and push into crypto which is actually insane because the sec has rejected grayscale for becoming uh for issuing an etf on bitcoin many many times and then randomly blackrock which is one of the biggest asset managers in the whole entire world is now filing for a bitcoin etf after grayscale has been rejected a ton of times why would they do it unless maybe they wanted to get into bitcoin first before the rest of retail gets in you know they want to get their hands in because honestly you just you're just not going to be able to stop bitcoin so if you can't beat them you know you end up joining them so blackrock filing for a bitcoin etf really did push the markets back a little bit up to the green side bitcoin is up two percent in the past 24 hours but casper you could see here in the past 24 hours up 13 percent past seven days is up 31 percent and in the past 30 days it's still up uh a good uh in the positive right there so uh we're still pretty much down a lot from the all-time high but honestly as looking for a long-term investment it's i don't think it's really going to matter if we're looking at the bigger picture and caspa is getting that adoption so also talking about adoption caspa is actually going to be listed on two new exchanges one is called bitpanda which bitpanda bitpanda uh needed a funding of five thousand dollars so that we can cover co-marketing costs and that funding has actually been completed you can actually take a look here at the wallet address where that funding was given to you could see over fifty two hundred dollars was given for that funding and that that money i believe is going to be airdropped to uh users on the exchange another exchange that listing that came out today was zt global and this is actually live right now it's tradable on zt global caspa is here so it's really good news for caspa to continuously get listed on exchanges we really need to get that adoption going if we want to keep moving forward and then lastly i want to end off with uh crazy news is rust being very very close to finish michael over here which is like one of the core devs for caspa uh he has been working on rust and implementing blocks per second and hiring it and he said so what value should we insert to the left of the green arrow and in the picture here the value has 10 for bps which is blocks per second and this is for the test net um of rust so this isn't all going to be on the main net of caspa but this is just for the test net to start testing to getting up to 10 blocks per second and the goal is 32 and then the end goal is actually 100 really that's really what yonatan is wanting you can see here back in the past uh yonatan mentioned about uh this uh research here saying especially important for high block rate systems as caspa targeting 10 blocks per second then 100 so caspa is doing things that have never been seen before in the crypto space so i'm pretty pretty bullish just because of this news and what the tech is going to bring to the crypto industry it's never been seen before and it looks like we're getting super close to actually seeing it in action and be put into practice on the caspa 
main net. So it's a quick little video just talking about a little bit of news. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. If you guys are new around here, please consider leaving a like on the video after watching it. And also subscribe to the channel because I'm keeping it real for you and giving serious education on opinion on Caspa every single day of the week pretty much. So if you guys are also interested in getting a Tandrum wallet, if you have not got that yet, consider getting your Tandrum wallet so that you can hold your cryptocurrency offline from exchanges. You never want to hold your crypto on exchanges. So if you guys are interested in getting the Tandrum wallet, I do have a couple videos highlighting it and explaining how it works and all that. But if you use the code Caspa Silver at the checkout, you will get 10% off and you could choose between either a pack of three cards or a pack of two cards so if you guys are interested about that go ahead and check the link down below uh there's other links down below for my patreon and also the one key wallet which is another wallet that i'm going to be recommending on my channel here so with all that being said as always don't be average be different